Hey guys, it's Kasha. Welcome to my channel and to my wonderland. It is a coffee time and today I just have uh, for you an update on just some couple of DVDs that I have purchased. Okay, so they are basically all second-hand DVDs that I found in a cheap store here in Cologne that had everything 20% off, also the things that were already in sale and they were like used DVDs so they were pretty cheap and I also have one DVD uh, that is brand new that I really needed to have so let's dig into it. Okay, so we have first this super cool steel case edition from Silent Hill and this one was pretty cheap. I don't remember really the prices because I purchased everything together. Uh, it's awesome. I love this steel case edition. It is a DVD and I really love this uh, steel case edition for some reasons. It just looks so pretty and uh, it was pretty cheap so I got this one. I got Species 3, which I didn't even know it existed. So I have one, two, and now I got three so I can make a marathon. And this is a very normal, regular edition, but it does come with some specials. Then I have Wishmaster 2, and it comes in this super awesome green steel case edition. And it looks so good that I don't even care that. Uh, you know, the undertitle is in uh, German. I just love this. And it comes uh, like this. I just love this edition. I don't know, it's just so pretty. And uh, I just love it. Like, look at this cover. I hope you can see it properly. And this is the back. I love this steel case edition. It's also a DVD, but it's just so awesome. And it was also pretty cheap. And then we have living nightmare night terror and I got this one because Robert England is in it and I didn't have a copy of this movie and it looks pretty awesome I haven't watched it even myself so I really can't wait to watch this it looks like one of those like super awesome 80 horror movies or something I don't even know which year this is from but I don't know, it's, it just looks like so old school horror and it has Robert England in it. So I will give this one a try. We have Crumb's Call 2, so I still need to get number one, but this was, was so cheap. I think it was like one euro, two euro plus the discount, so it was super cheap. So I decided to get it and then try to get number one also cheap somewhere. And I actually saw... a like uh, some pictures of this in the, I think it was on the horror con I went to and um, I was interested in this movie because I hadn't heard about it and then I saw number two on that uh, second hand store so I got it and I still need to get number one. If you guys already seen this movie let me know in the comments below if they are good one and two because I didn't know about this. And then we have uh, this movie is actually a Spanish movie that I remember watching when I was a teenager and it's called Los Sin Nombre but of course this is the English version DVD so it's called The Nameless which is basically Sin Nombre uh, and um, I think it was a really awesome horror movie maybe this is interesting from horror fans that are not so familiar with like other countries like indie or older horror movies um, this one is a good movie, so if you haven't watched it yet, I would recommend it to you. And I am dying to rewatch it because it's been a long time since the last time I watched this one. And then I have something not horror related, but it's Conan. It's Jason Momoa. Now, the movie is a little bit crappy. Like, it's one of those movies that I don't mind watching on TV, but I wouldn't pay too much to watch this movie. <laughs> But actually back then when it came out, it was my birthday when I was in Valencia with my girlfriends and we just decided to go watch Conan because Jason Momoa is like, I didn't need another reason. Uh, I really like him and I really like the character of Conan. The movie wasn't that great, but you know, it's still a story based on Conan, which is a character that I love. 
and I think I got this for like two euros or so so that is okay to add it to my collection uh, but of course you cannot compare to the original Conan play by Arnold because that's the best and uh, yeah so I got this Conan okay guys so the next movie is that movie that I really had to rewatch and that I couldn't find in my regular DVD store. The thing is, this movie is from 2007, so you might think it's not too hard to get it because it's not so old. And actually, for me, it has become like an old classic because for me, it's already cold. Like, I love this movie, I enjoyed it so much. And probably you already know which movie I'm talking about, and that is uh, Trick or Treat because we all love Sam. And uh, I remember watching this movie and I was totally in love with it. I think it's the perfect combination between a slasher and like comedy. Like like the movie is kind of funny, you know? It's um and it's awesome and I love it. It's kind of what happened to me when I watched Kevin in the Woods. When I watched Kevin in the Woods, I was kind of spe skeptical. I didn't want to watch it in the beginning because I thought it was gonna be the typical, you know, teenage slasher thing we go to a cabin and we all get slaughtered yay you know like one of these things that you already know what's gonna happen and then i watched the movie and i was like oh my god this is awesome so i think the cabin in the woods and trick or treat are one of my absolute favorite uh, horror movies you know like from the 2000s like not uh, from the 80s and stuff you know from the newer movies and I love Trick or Treat and I wanted to have a copy so that I could rewatch it anytime I wanted because I normally always watched it like streamed or something and uh, so I went to my comic store, uh, to, sorry to my DVD store and I was like uh, I cannot find it, uh, can you order it for me because they can do that and the, the guy looked in the computer and he was like no we cannot order it anymore it's out of catalog and I'm like what? It's like what, what are you saying? It's 2007, it's not that hard. And uh, so I went online and I realized apparently it wasn't as easy to get a copy of this movie. And I finally found in Amazon this copy that came brand new sealed for like 5 euros. And I don't, I think it might have even included the shipping. I don't know, it was pretty cheap. And I couldn't believe it that I was so lucky. So I just got it. And it's awesome because it's the UK edition. The only thing is it took kind of like three weeks to get to me, even though it's in the, U in the UK, which is like Europe, which is like, should be faster. But anyway, I'm not complaining because I finally have my copy and it looks super cool and I really love it. And it has also a lot of specials and uh, it, it's like the regular normal edition, but still I wanted a copy of this movie so bad and now I can add it to my collection. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video, it's just a couple of random movies that I had to show you and let me know in the comments below what you thought and which was your favorite DVD pickup and also let me know if you've watched some of these movies and well, I don't know what you think about uh, Trick or Treat because maybe I'm all excited about it but other people are not as excited as I am. Um, if you liked the video just remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet because you know, you and I should share this couple times and also in Facebook or Instagram you can follow me and uh, approach me, all the links are down below and I hope to see you all guys in the next coffee time video. Bye!